Hey guys, what's up? It's JBCDI Hacks here, um, and today I'm going to show you um, a lot of people have been updating their iPad firmware to 4.3, mainly for the multi touch gestures. Now, I only got an iPad yesterday, and uh, I thought if I update to 4.3, I'm going to get the multi touch gestures. As you can see, most of you will know, um, now I do, that you need Xcode to um, enable the multi touch gestures, but not anymore. Today I'm going to show you how to get the multi-touch gestures working on your iPad. Um, for example, swipe up, swipe down, um, if I open an application, my iPod, um, not only can I run four fingers across to change applications, there's YouTube there, Team Viewer, my Safari browser, a game, another game, a book, my address book. Um, I can also use five fingers to pull it back to the home screen. Um, now I'm sure there's many more gestures that are available to use, uh, but I haven't found any yet. So you can see here there's no third party applications installed, um, and all the multi-touch gestures are working. Fortunately I'm recording this from my iPhone 3GS, so it's not the best quality of camera, uh, but I'm sure it'll do to show you how to get the multi-touch gestures enabled. Now first what you want to do, is this is a guide on how to get it running if you're using Windows because uh, as we all know the Xcode is uh, only for Macs so there's a software that's come out recently called uh, iBackupBot for iTunes alright um, so we're gonna open this and what that'll do is you must already have your iPad backed up so you wanna make sure that you're choosing the iPad firmware so mine's pretty easy because it comes up down in iPad but when you click on it it will show up here, show here that it's an iPhone and it show here that it's an iPad um, and it will show the product version. This needs to be on 4.3 um, so I've both got my iPhone on 4.3. I'm not sure if this tweak will work um, to get the multi-touch gestures working on the iPhone. Um, I'm going to try that and I'll post it in the description. <coughs> so what you do is you just click on your iPad backup and then you'll get a list of all the backup files here. Click on path at the top so now you want to go look for libraries and slash preferences. You see that? And then there'll be one that says com.apple um, dot springboard dot plist. Alright? So this application you have to pay for it to get it running on Windows if you want to be using it all the time. But if you're just gonna want it to use it to get the uh, multi-touch gestures available, it's fine. So if we just double click on this. Um, your trial will come up, just hit cancel because you're only going to be editing one file and now where the dict part is you want to just hit return under there to bring a new line and you want to paste the code that I have put in the description just let me move my iPad off the keyboard so that code um, can also be found on this website which is where I found the uh, tutorial so it's just um, bracket key close bracket sb use system gestures bracket slash key close bracket return black bracket true forward slash close bracket it's best to paste it from the website because it will be case sensitive and the website will be in the description below um, so I pasted this in here and just to make it look nice if you just line it up with the other ones I'm not sure if that makes a difference um, but then what you want to do is hit the little save icon up here. So that will blank out. Um, and once it's blanked out, you know it's safe. So we can close this now. So that's all, all good and all right. We've uh, enabled the multi-touch gestures on the uh, iPad. But they won't work yet for yourself. Um, mine, mine's already been um, added using this uh, patch type thing. Um, so what you want to do then is on your keyboard... Um, you want to make sure you got the num lock and the f lock on and you want to hold control and hit T. Now on your computer it will come up, just wait for the camera to focus, um, that do you really want to restore the backup to your device? Please connect your iPhone, iPod touch or iPad to the computer then press yes to start the restore. So just hit yes and we'll show you what happens here. So it's restoring. Um, and it'll come up on the iPad in a second, so you can see there, restore in progress, and then it'll come up. Restore completed, your iPod 
may restart now. So just hit OK and we can now exit out of this application because we're done there. <coughs> so now as you can see, I'm uh, just going to rotate that. The boot logo doesn't rotate but you can see that um, that we uh, the, the, the application does actually work. And we can see that it's not going to brick your device so it'll come up with a little loading bar. Um, just wait for that to complete, take literally a minute. The iPad's come up on my computer and the iPad's loaded. So just rest that on my keyboard, we're already rotated. Um, let's just unlock this. So now you can see after a reboot of the iPad and editing the plist file, I have the multi touch gestures. <coughs> um, if I go into Safari and then use five fingers, go into Safari. There's my Facebook, five fingers, and um, it'll zoom out. Um, if I've got a couple of applications open, which I have, um, if I just load up Safari again, just because it's quick, and slide across, that'll go on for, to my Need for Speed game. Really good game, recommend downloading it, only 99 cents, 59 pence. Um, slide across again, that's just loaded up my Spotify. Um, hit play. I slide it across. All the multitasking uh, gestures work, um, but also it won't pause your songs as you can see. Um, so let's pause that. Um, there's my team viewer again, and back to the home screen. So that's a really good application, it's free. I'll post the uh, link to the application in the video description. Um, and you can, you guys can have a look at that yourselves. Um, it's well worth uh, downloading. It's well worth getting these multi-touch gestures working. If you ask me, it beats double tapping the home button, just going like this. So well worth getting. It's free for you to do. There's hardly any risk of jailbreak as long as you follow the video and the instructions on the website. Um, however, nobody's liable if you do break your device. Um, but it is again extremely hard to break your device because you could just restore a backup directly from iTunes. All right then, thanks guys. Uh, this was Adam, and um, just want you guys to check out this blog. And um, there's loads of things on there for the iPad, iPhone, iPod Touch, and they've also got a uh, new funny pictures blog that's lo um, that, that's uh, released, and and they'll give you jailbreak apps and everything and it's even got its own iPod, uh, iPad theme it's got its own iPhone theme as well um, and they're also at the minute doing an iPad 2 giveaway so well worth checking that out that's dailyiphoneblog.com thanks for watching um, and have a nice evening